channel i am the tumblr doctor um and today's video is going to be as you seen in the description doing a ombre tumblr using the mod podge method um this is my tumblr it's not spray painted the best i don't know why um i wasn't really worried about spray painting it the best um the bottom is good though um because I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and glitter over this anyway. It's not like it's going to be a plain ombre tumbler. Um, but I do want the glitters to pop. So today's glitters that I'm going to be using is a mixture of what I mixed. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ooh, ooh, some of it fell out already. But it's like a blue. It's, it's just a mixture of different blues and a holographic blue. Um, this is my Mod Podge. It's fresh. Um, and I have my holographic silver, also a mixture that I've done. Um, if you guys, I don't know, if you guys want me to add these to my Etsy shop, just let me know and I get them added. Um, and this is just a mixture of the blue and silver together. Um, but you probably see more silver than blue. I gotta mix that again and mix it up some more. So, the reason why I'm doing the Mod Podge is because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube with the epoxy method or crystal lac or um, tacky glue or spray adhesive glue. I've seen a lot of them, but not a lot of people talk about Mod Podge. I don't know why if it's Mod Podge has died out and I'm just new to this, so I'm a little bit late. But for people who are upcoming and starting tumblers and the Tumblr experience, I felt like Mod Podge was best for me um, because I can work with it. I don't have to worry about it having to spin in order for me to get a good coverage. And then I feel like with me or my with my personal experience, um, epoxy is more so for people who are using chunky glitter. Um, and if you're not really, if you're using extra fine glitter like me, it's kind of like you don't get that coverage that you usually like. And I also have a tumbler. Let me see. That. Oh, I have a tumbler that I tried it with, and it gave me good coverage, but it was just some spots was a little bit better than others. So I decided to do the Mod Podge um, method, even though this one came out pretty. I just felt like you know I just needed to do. The Mod Podge, that was the epoxy method one. Um, but like I said, it was just certain areas that looked shinier than the others and other areas that didn't give me that mm, like I wanted. So, um, like I said, I've got my Mod Podge and to prep this tumbler, because I did sand it, I used a 180 sand block. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I think it wasn't no more than like $10, if that, maybe 20 I don't know. So, I'm not going to be using my brush brush today. I'm going to be using my little sponge brush. And I got my water on standby so I can dip it in the water. But, I don't know if I want to keep it like this. Or if I want to take it out. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep it like this for the purposes of this video. So, I'm going to start with the bottom first. And then I'm going to go to the top. I really need to invest in me a tumbler stand. Um why it dries so that way it can dry right and then i might just do this half and let it dry and then come back and do this half later um i don't know or i might try half and half half epoxy i mean half yeah half epoxy and half mod podge i don't know it just depends on where i am wherever this takes me so i'm just gonna go through and do even coats around it and I like this brush right here better than my um, paint brush because for one it's wider so I don't have to worry about painting each stroke um, but it also gives me like really it's really faster so I don't have to worry about my Mod Podge actually drying before I can get my, my stuff good and it also doesn't have as many lines um coat bottom but yeah, I really like this brush. It's just hard to get the Mod Podge off of it because you know it's a sponge. So, 
And the tumbler that I'm using is a 30 ounce tumbler I got from Walmart. Um, this is actually a Christmas gift. And the other one down there was her um, cup. But I didn't like the way that my that um, epoxy did. So I said, you know what, I'm going to have to go back and redo it. I just don't like that and I'm not gonna give somebody something that I don't like um okay so I did half of the cup I don't know if you guys can see it you can kind of see it. I did like half of the cup um I don't want to stick this in water just yet so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my silver I should do the top of the cup first to be honest, but it's okay. Ooh. I forgot I got my ceiling fan running. I know y'all see it behind me. I forgot all about that, so my glitter is flying everywhere. Smart me, huh? <laughs> so the the Mod Podge method for me is working for me as of right now um like i said later on when i do the chunky because i am going to be doing some chunky um glitter cups um i'm just going to be pretty much i'm going to try that with the chunky glitter and see if that works best um because i already feel like it just works best with chunky glitter because the glitter will adhere to it a little better um, and then I just keep tapping it to get that excess off because it's not on the turner. And then for the bottom, I just take it and just dip it. Just like dipping in, dipping in the stuff. And then boom. This glitter is everything. And as you can see, the first half of the cup is done. I guess my, my light, my light might be too, um. Too, too bright so and then I tap that whole way simply because like I said it's not on a turner so I'm going to tap it so that I'm going to hold this and tap it too so I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back um, and probably do the blue and then all I do is I just take the glitter that I have and just simply put it back in this tube. I don't want to waste the glitter. Um, I usually let my Mod Podge dry for, I don't know, probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, just in case I have to go back and do a second coat, I'm going to stick this in the water right here that I have. Um, just in case if I have to go back and do like a a second coat or something now I just go ahead and let that dry so that way it's not getting in or the glitter that's that's there is not getting in the way um my mind touch I always stare it I'm sorry I'm country um I always stare it a little bit so that you know it's not clunky because sometimes it gets really clunky and chunky and all that so once I get that on, I'm probably gonna stick my hand in here um, for the second part. If I can pull this out, so you guys know the little things you get. I just cut mine in half because half of this would stick out, so I just cut mine in half. So I have two now. So if I'm making two 30 ounce cups or 30 ounce plus cups, then I have one that I can work with and the other one I can work with, and that works just fine. Um, so when I do it. When I go back and do it, I got paint on my arm. I'm just going to go ahead and do this one, but I'm going to let this one dry. And I'm going to keep tapping it until I see little to none glitter fall off of it. So I'll be back once I finish this one. Guys, it's been about 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. 
um since i did this cup i actually went and did another cup really fast um a starbucks cup um and had that turning while i waited for this to dry so after looking at this i'm definitely gonna go in with another coat of the silver because i don't know if you can see it on camera but cups like these um that's not like this and doesn't have the lines um they have lines in them and you can actually see it um even the wording in it you can actually see and i don't like for that to show so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna dab 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 i don't know what i did with oh i didn't bring it in I bought my blue in, but I don't know. So I'm actually gonna switch sides so that I can ring this thing out. And I'm gonna just marry the noise and ring it out. And I actually like a damp one of these when I'm doing this because it doesn't really hold too much glue and have your glue like or your Mod Podge, what you call it. And actually, the um, Starbucks cup that I just did. Um, I actually used the epoxy method, um, simply cause, simply because with those cups, it just seemed like a little, it's a little easier. It's like a acrylic cup. So I just went ahead and did the epoxy method with that. And I'm still not a fan of it, but, um, I needed it to be quick. So I'm going to brush and as you can see, the glitter is on there. So. Don't be alarmed. I'm going to brush lightly, but I'm going to definitely try to make sure I fill in those lines. Now, the goal with um, the Mod Podge doing double coats is to keep the glitter on and not lose too much of your glitter. Um, because if you lose a lot of your glitter, then you're going to be pretty much trying to start over from scratch um, with the glitter process. And that's not what you want to do. Um, also with doing this, um, it's important to use, um, a thick layer of epoxy, um, simply because you don't want to scrape your glue, your glitter off and you also want to fill in any of those lines or, um, empty spots that you can't see. So with the second coat, I usually try to take my time. Um, just to make sure that I'm covering up everything and nothing is being shown or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah. So it's not much on my brush. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of focusing. It's not much on my brush and it's actually, it's holding on to the brush instead of going back into my Mod Podge, which is a good thing because... I don't want to um, empty out my Mod Podge and start from scratch. Um, but this also helps me see pockets that I might have missed, um, like the little pockets with the holes. Some people, I've seen some people use torches and heat guns to get those out, but I'm not doing that. Um, I don't want to burn my cup. I've seen people that burnt their cups trying to do that. I don't want to burn my cup and I also don't want, um, I don't want to burn my cup and I also don't want to burn the glitter because a lot of times with these glitters, even though people charge a lot for them, um, these glitters are like super flammable. So I don't want to burn that up and cause a whole fire because... I'm trying, trying, trying to go the cheap way and the fast way and the quick way and be done made a mess way. So I'm going to do the bottom again. And I'm sorry if my video is boring. I promise you it's going to be better. It surely is. So, and I bought some more Mod Podge because I'm running out. Yeah, all those Christmas orders really got me <laughs> to... You know, so I had to take a little breakity break. So, the key thing for this is to let it get tacky, a little bit tacky. Um, a little bit tacky, not a lot of tacky. 
um, simply because um, you want the second coat to stick and my probably dries fast so by the time I coat this and add that extra to it it should be ready to go well I just dip my tip because those things you guys you guys don't understand those brushes are the hardest when it comes to getting my eyes out. So I use the wrong glitter just now. I got to have a panic attack. <laughs> Hard panic attack. So my goal, since we're here, for 2021 is to um, stay consistent with my business. Um, if you guys don't know... I am also the owner of Designs by Tony B um, and DBTB underscore designs. Um, those are more so of clothes. Uh, my DBTB designs was more so of drop shipping. Um, and I didn't really like it because I couldn't find vendors that could ship quickly and that offered my branding as well when they ship. Um, so I quickly learned that that was not something that I wanted to do um, simply because I don't want to wait 30 days for a product and I don't want other people to wait 30 days to get products and I understand it was corona and all this other good stuff but I just I just felt bad you know I didn't want people to wait and have to wait on their clothes you know they're already in the house and all this other stuff so I decided to do Designs by Tony B and I did it on Etsy. Um, I was on Etsy for probably, I want to say maybe um, a month and a half, a month and a half, so maybe two months. Um, and I started off with clothes and the clothes weren't really selling, to be honest. Um, they didn't really sell out that good um, and I just took it as, you know, people probably just didn't want them and these um these brand companies have really amped up their 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 clothing now so that a lot of the stuff that uh, us small business people were offering um they now offer so it kind of put us out of business a little bit um as far as name brand designer clothing for the low um so i i get it you know people didn't really want clothing and stuff like that so i took to tumblers i started playing with tumblers and trying to watching youtube trying to find shirt designs and shirt motivations and shirt ideas and came across tumblers and people were saying that you know it was a great thing to do it's fun so i decided to play with it and kind of see where it would take me um and I put, I made two tumblers and um, some wine glasses and I added them to my shop and those actually sold faster than um, my clothes. But the process to make them is long, you know, you have to let this stuff dry, you have to let it cure, you have to make sure that it's okay to ship and it's not going to get stuck to the plastic. So my cups actually started selling fast. So I was like, hmm. I just take my hand and just flatten the back because, um, as you guys know, um, this, the back or the bottom is what sits on the, the thing. So I don't want it to be wobbly and stuff like that. So I just take it with my palm and I just press it. Um, but yeah, so my cups really started selling and I was like, Ooh, you know, so I decided to go and do the tumblers and stuff, but I only had two tumblers and one wine glass. So of course my sales was terrible. Um, my cups, I think I went from one sale to six sales um, in a matter of maybe a few days once I put those on there. And, um, it was fine. Like, I enjoyed it or whatever. But it was just, it's a lot, you know. It's a lot to make those cups. And then I only had one cup turner. 
so I couldn't turn as fast as I wanted to because a lot of those cup orders could have went out at the same time and it would have saved me some money. Um, but by me having one cup turner, it wasn't good. It wasn't gonna go as fast as I wanted it to. So yeah, that's my story. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I don't know. I don't know what my goal is next or what adventure I'm gonna do next. Um, right now I'm experimenting with what works and what doesn't work, and you know, it's kind of the ball is in my court and I have full control, but I kind of want to see where I can go with this thing. So once I find my blue. Because I just used it on that Starbucks cup downstairs. Um, you guys, I'm all over the place. Sometimes I be in the garage. Sometimes I actually have my office space upstairs in my room. Um, so, um, yeah. If my husband ain't in here, then um, if he's not in here, then I could pretty much work in peace and quiet and stuff. If my kids are downstairs, I could pretty much work in peace and quiet um, and just kind of focus on me and doing what I do and how I do it. Um, so I'm going to go find the blue and then I'm going to show you how I do the blue. Hopefully this thing will go ahead and dry um, since I let it get a little tacky before that. So yeah, this glitter is messy. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so it's been about maybe 10 minutes um, since I've had this drying. Um, I'm not going to wait the full 24 hours for this to dry. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start applying. I have good all over my watch. Um, I'm actually going to remove my watch because I don't want good all over my watch. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and start applying the blue. Um, and then once I apply the blue, then I'm going to let it dry for probably about 12 hours. So I probably won't do any epoxy with this cup until, um, I don't know why I forgot that line. Um, I probably won't do anything with this cup, um, as far as the epoxy in, until tomorrow. Um, and by then the other cup should be done and it could just dry like hang dry um so yeah i'm gonna do this one and it turned out pretty she's gonna love this cup um so i'm gonna go ahead and go in and then i'm gonna go over the silver just a little bit in those areas so with my ombre colors like this um i don't mind the overlap and it does not have to be even. Um, simply because I like that overlapping glitter look. I don't like it to be really clean. Because when it's really clean, it just don't look like ombre. Um, like when you go to the nail shop and you want ombre nails, they don't cut it off at the, the white or cut it off at the pink. Um, so I don't want to just cut it off right there. Like I want it to bleed over a little bit to get that full effect look. So on my, um, and this is really important, on my um, silver, I'm going to go in a little thicker with my Mod Podge than, the, when, than covering the blue. Simply because, again, you're covering glitter and you want to be mindful that you're covering glitter. So you also want to make it look nice and clean and neat. So... The thing I like about the sponge is I can actually control the Mod Podge. And then it's also a little wet. Ooh, it's also a little wet. Um, I got all this already. Dang, I'm working faster than I can think about. Um, so I'm going to come down just a little bit more. And like I said, it's not going to be even. I don't want it to be even. Um, it's going to be pretty. Just trust the process, okay? Just trust me. Um, then I probably, oops, I don't want it on the wrong one. That's what I don't want. Um, because I don't want to fight with glitter. Hold on, you guys. Sorry, guys, I had to get my kids together because 
Of course, they're being kids and they're being super duper loud for just no reason. You know, they just want to be loud. So, I'm going to let this tack up as well. Um, and the only reason why is because it's easier to stick. Um, and because I'm overlapping glitter. So, I'm going to let that tack up. And I can tell when it's tacking up because it starts to change colors. My eyes probably dry as clear. If you guys didn't know. Um, so, when it starts to dry clear, then I can tell you that um, it's tacking. So, I'm just going to go in with the blue. And I'm sorry if you guys can't see this video or if this video is very all over the place. But, I promise you my videos will come. And, let me say something else. My podge is not as toxic. And what I mean by that is, what I mean is, it's not as toxic. It's not as toxic. So... You don't have to worry about that smell and wearing masks and having to do it outside. Like you can actually do it from your house, even though they have low facility, velocity, whatever that word, velocity, um, no odor, um, no odor epoxies. I just think when it comes to extra fine and super fine and fine glitter, that this is the best way to go. Um, because you can get that coverage that you want without that hassle of is it going to be good enough or whatever the case may be. So hopefully I have enough glitter to do this whole cup so I don't have to go and scoop this and get some more. Oh yeah, I'm going to have enough. So I don't have to really worry about it. I'm going to just be cleaning this in a little while. Um, so I'm not really super hell bent on the ends. If I can get them done the first time, then I'm okay with that. But if not, I just have to deal with how it is. So I'm actually going to tap my wrist right here or the inside of my hand. But because I have on nails, I have to be mindful that if I do that, then I might actually scratch it. So sometimes I just pat like this like if I was a spinner because again my hand is not gonna spin all the way around like that. But look at this you guys. Oh it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Now this I'm not a fan of. It's so pretty. And I wish I could tap the bottom but I can't. So I'm gonna have to do this. So now I'm just gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna tap it and make sure it's sticking. And there's no issues, especially around the curves, because the thing with these curved tumblers is, oh, this is this is good. Um, the thing with these curved tumblers is sometimes wherever that curve is, it's kind of hard to, you know, get that coverage that you want. Um, so yeah, this actually did pretty good. I see some spots over here. I'm going to have to go back and get it. Let me see if I can get on with this. I doubt it. Alright. Um, but the whole point of tapping is to catch those spots. So if you're tapping, you can see those spots. And most likely I'm going to go back over this again with another coating um, once this dries. But as you can see, it's beautiful. Um, so it's up to you if you want to go back and do another coat. Some might like it as is. Um, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Um, this, I don't want to tap it, but it's going to fall out. Um, this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And these lines, I don't mind. Again, um, that ombre look is what I like and I don't like for it to be super clean unless I'm doing like a, a tumbler that requires it to be super clean but with my ombre tumblers I'm okay like this so I'm actually gonna go ahead and let this dry for about 15 to 25 minutes and then I'm gonna go back and look at it and see if I like it 
um if i don't like it i'm gonna just do another coat over the blue um to make it a little thicker like how i did with this one when i went back over it um and if not then i'm just gonna wait until in the morning or tomorrow and go ahead and epoxy it epoxy it most likely it'll be in the morning because it's 7 11 now um let me show you guys 7 11 p.m now so that means that most likely um this is gonna sit overnight and dry on my desk um and then in the morning the glitter that's excess i just shake it off um and go ahead and epoxy it now you don't want and this is important you don't want to epoxy this at right after you finish it um simply because your glitter is not in place and any excess glitter will bleed into it and when i mean bleed into it like you have blue lines going down um from where the epoxy and if you are a person who epoxies down downward like if this is on a machine and you're doing it downward then all your blue glitter is going to fade into your silver glitter or what or all your top glitter is going to fade into your bottom glitter and that means that you're not going to have that bottom coverage because a lot of times we do our tumblers where the dark part is at the top and the light part is at the bottom so you lose your light part at the bottom because you've waited too soon to or you've done it too soon with the epoxy um and this is just with the mars podge method um i'm not sure about the other ones i haven't tried to spray glue i only did the epoxy and mod podge and mod podge works best for me when it comes to ombre tumblers um triple ombre tumblers or triple tumbler colors um and extra fine and fine glitter um chunky glitter i am a fan of the epoxy method but these two are my favorite um when it comes to fine well this one is my favorite when it comes to those two the fine and the extra fine um but yeah don't do it too soon i will probably give it about 12 hours then i will probably shake it again um just to make sure and then once you do that whatever epoxy you have if it does bleed it's not gonna bleed and come off because the if the mod podge hasn't completely dry and it's a difference between um drying or what it's doing whenever we're putting it on before we put the glitter on versus it being dry so it's still wet but it's in the drying state if you give it a few hours then it'll be completely dry and the only thing that will be moving is the loose glitter that did not stick um to that mod podge and usually what i do is once it's dry before i epoxy it i just take my hand with the glue um because you don't want to get this stuff on your skin um due to being irritated or allergic reactions or whatever the case may be hard to come off staying on for days and weeks and people think you ain't washing but what i would do is take it and i'm not gonna do it with this cup because it's still wet and take my hand and like i did with this part down here just press it and all that extra will come off on the glove and the thing about a plastic glove is it holds as you can see it holds the glitter um so i just take it and press it but most likely from looking at this i'm probably gonna do another coating because i see some little lines that i don't like it's like a pattern to be honest i don't know why it's a pattern right there um but yeah so give it about 12 to 15 hours before epoxy in with my podge um let it sit for anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes before applying the next coat um you have to work fast with it because if you don't it'll dry on you and when i say dry i don't mean like a completely dry it'll tacky dry and it's hard when it once it tacky dries to try to work with it because it's like spots empty spots and it's already clear so your your my your glitter is not gonna adhere to it as it should um so this is my video make sure you check out my instagram um at the tumblr doctor go to my etsy page coming soon by the time this video come out it should be back it should be out um the tumblr doctor um and make sure you leave me some reviews or some comments 
on um how you think this tumbler turned out if you guys tried it um any tips or tricks um with the epoxy method because i'm still trying to get that together um and i feel like i waste a lot of epoxy when i tried to do it the last time so i just like you know epoxy is expensive so we ain't gonna be just doing that just to do it um but yeah this is my tumbler i like it but it's not for me so, yeah, I'll see you guys. Um, be sure to comment and let me know, you guys, if you tried it, um, if it worked, um, if you thought it was detailed, any questions you might have, I will answer. I'm not going to do like other YouTubers and just leave y'all hanging and respond to only certain things. I'm going to go ahead and let you know from the get-go. So, make sure y'all respond, y'all talk to me because I like to talk, you know? All right, see you guys next time. Bye.